I'm going to interview former Prime Minister of the Netherlands, Ruud Lubbers, and also former representative of the High Commission for Refugees of the United Nations. So I'll start with my first question uh, about cultural diplomacy. Uh, Mr. Lubbers, uh, how important is the concept of cultural diplomacy to you? And do you think it can promote democracy and global peace? And how do you think, uh, if so, how do you think this could be realized? Diplomacy is something for diplomats. So it's an expert thing, diplomacy. So when you speak about cultural diplomacy, I can understand it as a way to make use of the importance of culture. And there is a growing awareness of the relevance of culture in societies. So when in the past maybe there were a strict division between culture and politics, I think it's not any longer the case. And especially when it comes on diplomacy, I think cult the cultural dimension can uh, be part of the solution. So I could give many examples. Um, when I was a young minister, I had to deal with the Saudis because we had the oil crisis in 1973. I had to meet Sheikh Yamani. He was the boss of the oil, OPEC. So what I did is um, that I informed myself about Yamani and there I found that he, as an Islamist, wrote a thesis on the Islam. And I took the time as a young minister to read that thesis. So when we sat down, I started to compliment him with his thesis. And we had a short dialogue on that. And that helped enormously to get his trust. And the other way around, he knew me. So we didn't start with the business, the political business. We start with the cultural dimension. And could you give other examples? If you go to the Netherlands, uh, when I became a prime minister, we had uh, behind us a number of years of violence of young Dutch Moluccans. Mm, yes. The Moluccans' violence. <clears throat> so I figured out how could I end this. And then you have people who said you have to be very nice to them. And others said you have to be very harsh on them. I said maybe there's a different possibility. So I invited those people. <coughs> asking them, explain you me the history of the Moluccans. Yes. They did, and I said, maybe you have one of your parents or uncles, even maybe your grandfather, who was famous in the community, mention it to me, and then I talked with our queen of the Netherlands, is it not possible to give them a declaration? So we organized a meeting to celebrate the history of the Moluccans, and the queen handed out decoration to the old wise Moluccans and that since then we never had violence in the Netherlands from the Moluccans because they finally got uh, a recognition for their history and they had a feeling uh, they were not longer part of only a discussion about being a risk for the Dutch society and so but that they were appreciated yeah so I think I think that all already went into my second question, uh, because since you were a for yeah. former Prime Minister of the Netherlands, uh, how played cultural diplomacy uh, any I, role yeah, in your absolutely. reign? I so give you a yeah. few examples. So formally, it doesn't play a role. In practice, politicians and diplomats are doing their job in a better way if they inform themselves about the cultural dimensions. In that sense, cultural Diplomacy is a good idea, but be aware it's always done by professionals, so it's an additional um, uh, possibility. So I think it's, it's very relevant, yeah. And how do you think the Netherlands now uh, practices in cultural diplomacy? Is it no, is doing a good a course, job? Or? You know, you're Dutch yourself, we are in a difficult yes. situation because at some point there came up uh, an anti-Islam movement, we have seen later anti-foreigners movement. We have seen anti-Polish uh, initiatives. So this is very un-Dutch. So exactly that challenge to be multicultural and to respect, have respect for all the cultures um, is, uh, is difficult in the Netherlands today. 
So I would say just because of that, culture is even more important to overcome this. We have to become again cultured, civilized if you like. And it is not anti, but it's respecting other cultures. Okay, and that's um, probably also my, my third question and final question of this interview. Um, so what is the future of cultural diplomacy overall? And uh, what are the challenges which lay ahead? And will it become a, a more important feature uh, for I the future? I think it will gradually grow. I said uh, in my uh, remarks here this afternoon that spirituality is coming back to change. Now, culture is something different of spirituality, but one thing is for sure, that those people who give attention to spirituality are very close to those who are aware that it is not only about the material things and that concept as the beauty is important. And when I cited the end of the Earth Charter, the joyful celebration of life lifts up the people who have something with culture. Thank you. Thank you very much.